Hello everybody, it's Jim the Gentleman Crafter and today I want to talk to you about scoreboards. Once again, back to basics uh, series. Okay, this is a Martha Stewart scoreboard. There are lots of them out on the market. This is one of my favorites, Martha's uh, Stewart's uh, scoreboard. This is another one that's traveling, folds out like that and has a trimmer on it. And then there's the score pal, you know what I mean, that has uh, lines more for making cards and things that that would be the measurements that you would need okay so um but once again my favorite tool in the house is probably martha's i probably use it more than anything and um here it is and i just wanted to go over scoring real quick okay so martha stewart's comes with a with a bone folder that you use to score with um i find that i do so many things with with craft paper that it eats the nib down um, after a while and so you can see my nib is definitely probably not like yours um, but what I mainly use is just a stylus anything with a ball on it with a wider ball if you use anything too sharp it'll it'll cut through the paper and the same thing with Martha's when you first start out it's gonna be really really sharp so you want to press lightly you know what I mean and I don't know if it's just me but I, I tend to press really hard okay so I love to use the stylus but once again use whatever it makes you happy here's another stylus that I use I just use anything if I need a really crisp crisp and tight fold I will not use my my ball uh, stylus because it does make a wider score mark let me show you I'll just show you the difference there is that so you can see it makes a wider score line so it's as thick as this okay if i'm using something thinner let's say i use martha's stewart's uh, bone folder it makes it thinner you can just see the difference can you see the difference you can see how this is much thinner this is thicker okay but i still always go for the thick i don't know why so um anyway so now back to to scoring okay so what you want to do in this, once again, may be something you've done a million times, you know how to do it, and that's fine. Just turn it off and, and know that you know how to do it. But for those of you who don't, let's say we're scoring at two inches. So I'm going to score here. I'm going to press my, my uh, stylus or my bone folder down into that groove, into the channel, and pull it down toward me. Okay? So now I have debossed the paper. This is embossed because I've made a raised. This is debossed because it's more of a valley. So I've got my valley here. It's a valley. It's, it's a, you know, this is definitely raised. You can see how it's raised. So what you want to do, and there's been lots of, lots of uh, people asking me, where do, you, where do you fold? Do you fold on this side, fold it toward, or do you fold it here where the valley is, where I, where I originally did it? So once again, if I have done it here, I'm going to fold that against this. And let me tell you why. You want to, you want your brain, or a lot of people's brains, I don't know, um, want to fold it against it. But what it does is that you've already weakened the fibers of the paper by doing this. So you're weakening the fibers of the paper. Okay, you're telling that you want it to score here. You want to make an indention in this paper. So, um, so it's already weakened these fibers in the paper on, on this side, okay? So if you were to bring that around and bring it toward it, you have the opportunity to crack the paper, or you you will probably crack the paper, okay? Because you're, once again, damaging those fibers again. You're pulling those fibers apart even more, okay? But if you did it on the valley fold, which is where you scored it, so I'm scoring it at four. If you did it here, and now I've got a valley, it's indented like that, it's debossed. I'm gonna fold it against it. Okay, so that little nib is on the inside, and this is on the outside, because it's, it makes it stronger, it's stronger. This is, makes it weaker if you fold it this way. So that is scoring, okay? And that's how you fold your paper. So once again, where the valley is, where you debossed the paper, is where you wanna fold against it, like that, okay? And your mind says you're making a groove in the paper like that, so you want you, sh you should want to want to fold it like that. But really, once again, that weakens the paper. So if you fold it against that, it's stronger. Okay? So y'all, that is scoring, and I hope that answers some questions about scoring. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks again.